outside the master bedroom has an incredible lake view. The kitchen is equipped with appliances such as a refrigerator, an oven, a microwave, and a dishwasher. The bathrooms have double bowl sinks and separate showers and bathtubs. The garage is big enough to park three cars. Come and visit our open house this Saturday. I can't wait to show you the garden. You'll finish the listening part. Unit 4 At the Bank Part 1 Listen and circle the correct answers. Number 1 Listen to the man. Hi, I would like to open a savings account today. I will make a deposit of $100 every month. Which type of account will suit my needs? What is the man doing? Number 2. Listen to the teacher. Today we are going to learn about credit cards. A credit card is used as a payment method. You can buy things with a credit card and pay the money at a later date. What is the teacher talking about? Number 3. Listen to the boy. Since I was five, I've been collecting as many coins as I can. Today I am going to break my piggy bank and deposit all the coins into my savings account. What has he been collecting since he was five? Part 2 Listen and answer the questions. Number 1 Listen to the conversation between a woman and a man. How may I help you today? I would like to open a savings account, please. All right. May I see your ID first, please? Here you go. What is the woman's job? A. Cashier B. Bank teller C. Baker Number 2 Listen to the conversation between a boy and a girl. Hi, Kelly. How do you keep your money? I keep it in my bank. What about you? I have been keeping it in my drawer. I should open a bank account and keep it in the bank from now on. Yeah, it is safer to keep your money in a bank. What is the first thing the boy should say to the bank teller? A. I would like to withdraw some money. B. I would like to open a bank account. C. Where do I sign? Part 3. Listen and answer the questions. Number 1. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Mrs. Roberts. This is James Lord from Dawson Bank. You visited our bank this afternoon to open an account. After you left, I found your ID on the floor. Please visit our bank one more time to get your ID back. I will keep it safe until you come again. Thank you. Why did James call? A. To ask Mrs. Roberts to bring her ID to the bank. B. To tell Mrs. Roberts to open a bank account. C. To inform Mrs. Roberts that she left her ID at the bank. Number 2. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Lily. This is Amy. I would like to open a bank account. I just moved to this town last week, and I am still not very familiar with it. Can you recommend a bank that is close to my home? If you are free tomorrow afternoon, let's have a cup of tea. You helped me move in, so I want to treat you. Call me when you get this message. 
What did Amy do last week? A. She opened a bank account. B. She had a cup of tea with Lily. C. She moved to a new town. Part 4 Listen and answer the questions. Listen to the story about Luke. Luke didn't have school today, so he decided to go to a bank and open a bank account. I will get some ice cream after I go to the bank, Luke thought. Then maybe I will call John and play computer games with him. Luke had a perfect plan. He went down to the bank. I would like to open my own bank account, please, Luke said proudly. May I see your ID? the bank teller asked. Oh, no, Luke said. I must have left it at home. I will come again next time. Luke was disappointed, but he didn't want to go back home to get his ID. He went to the ice cream shop to cheer himself up instead. One cup of strawberry ice cream, please, he said. After he ordered his ice cream, he realized that he had left his wallet at home too. He had to walk out of the store without the ice cream. I will call John and play computer games, he thought. Luke called John, and John agreed to come over. When they were at Luke's house, Luke turned on his computer. When he clicked the game icon, the computer froze. Oh no, Luke exclaimed. What's happening to me today? Luke learned that you can't control when unexpected things happen. He hoped for a better day the next day. Number 1. Why couldn't Luke open a bank account? A. He couldn't find a bank. B. He didn't bring his ID. C. He didn't have time. Number 2. Why couldn't Luke get ice cream? A. He doesn't like ice cream. B. His computer broke down. C. He didn't have his wallet. Listen and answer the questions. Listen to the teacher giving instructions. We are going to the bank near the school tomorrow. We will meet the manager, Mr. Ron Miller. He will tell you about his job, and each one of us will open a bank account there. Are you all excited? Before we go there, I have a few things I want to go over. As I have already informed your parents and a letter to them, you need to bring a photo ID. Also, there will be some people working with customers. Please behave when you are at the bank. Listen carefully to what Mr. Miller tells you because there will be an assignment regarding his talk. Also, for those of you who do not wish to open a bank account, please show this note to your parents and bring it back to me with your parents' signatures on it. Number 3. What is the class going to do the next day? A. Go to see a musical. B. Have a speech contest. C. Meet Mr. Miller at the bank. Number 4. What does the teacher want from her students? A. To act nicely and quietly at the bank. B. Not to come to school the next day. C. To bring their parents to school. Number 5. What should students who do not wish to open an account do? A. Stay at school and do a new assignment. B. Write a letter to their parents. C. Bring the note with their parents' signatures on it.
Part 1. Listen and fill in the blanks. Number 1. Hi, I would like to open a savings account today. Number 2. A credit card is used as a payment method. Number 3. Since I was five, I've been collecting as many coins as I can. Part 2. Listen and fill in the blanks. Number 1. How may I help you today? I would like to open a savings account, please. Number 2. I have been keeping it in my drawer. I should open a bank account and keep it in the bank from now on. Yeah, it is safer to keep your money in a bank. Part 3 Listen and fill in the blanks. Number 1 Hi, Mrs. Roberts. This is James Lord from Dawson Bank. You visited our bank this afternoon to open an account. After you left, I found your ID on the floor. Please visit our bank one more time to get your ID back. I will keep it safe until you come again. Thank you. Number 2 Hi, Lily. This is Amy. I would like to open a bank account. I just moved to this town last week and I am still not very familiar with it. Can you recommend a bank that is close to my home? If you are free tomorrow afternoon, let's have a cup of tea. You helped me move in, so I want to treat you. Call me when you get this message. Part 4 Listen and fill in the blanks. Number 1. Luke didn't have school today, so he decided to go to a bank and open a bank account. I will get some ice cream after I go to the bank, Luke thought. Then maybe I will call John and play computer games with him. Luke had a perfect plan. He went down to the bank. I would like to open my own bank account, please. Luke said proudly. May I see your ID? the bank teller asked. Oh, no, Luke said. I must have left it at home. I will come again next time. Luke was disappointed, but he didn't want to go back home to get his ID. He went to the ice cream shop to cheer himself up instead. One cup of strawberry ice cream, please, he said. After he ordered his ice cream, he realized that he had left his wallet at home too. He had to walk out of the store without the ice cream. Listen and fill in the blanks. Number 2. We are going to the bank near the school tomorrow. We will meet the manager, Mr. Ron Miller. He will tell you about his job. And each one of us will open a bank account there. Are you all excited? Before we go there, I have a few things I want to go over. As I have already informed your parents in a letter to them, you need to bring a photo ID. Also, there will be some people working with customers. Please behave when you are at the bank. Listen carefully to what Mr. Miller tells you 